Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> now this should be interesting because I am that Capricorn. Wow, enlightenment. So you have been enlightened about a situation. I feel like this is something maybe you walked away from. Yes, I can't make it up. Released. <laughs> You have released this person, yes. You have seen the light about this person. I feel like you may even have seen right through them. Oh, you're getting a new beginning. You passed whatever test this was. And I do feel like it was some sort of test by spirit to see if you learned something, especially about I'm getting your self-worth. I had this for one of the other readings that I did today, and that may have been Sagittarius. Maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. Let's get that tarot card. Ah, ha, ha. Queen of Pentacles. You are very high energy. You have that nurturing ability you're very practical and reliable I feel like you may have even started a business here um, you may have some financial success behind this and if you haven't seen that yet I feel like it is coming for you let's get one more card for that oh, yes you aren't aren't just going to have that financial success you're going to have a new passionate beginning now whether you are with somebody or not if you are not somebody new is coming in for you with a passionate new beginning that you will start with this new beginning card here and if you are with somebody it could just mean that you're going to have a new journey with this person a new beginning with them a new type of i don't know knowledge or growth that maybe you've had with this person and <clears throat> you're releasing whatever negativity negativity that you had prior to this I feel like maybe there's more talking here let's see what is your emotions here let's look at your emotions that was your sun sign this is what you're feeling about yourself that enlightenment that you saw, what you needed to release, maybe it was about how you talk to yourself, it could have been a person, but it is going to bring in this new passionate beginning for you. So let's look at your emotions then. Be bold and make the first move. <laughs> so perhaps the person that's coming in for you is a little... Um, um shy i want to say or reserved uh maybe it might take you to make the first move you are good enough which is full moon in virgo so you may have virgo you may be a cardinal sign this is the cardinal moon to be bold and let's get another one here balance spirituality and practicality so try to balance that off a bit so you're not want more than one than the other let's look expect a powerful change Capricorn I feel like this is going to be beyond your expectations new moon eclipse wow so you may not know what this is coming in for you because it's blacked out like this eclipse on here but you can see the shining in behind it so you know it's something's coming but you're maybe not sure of what it is you just know spirit has a blessing for you let's get the tarot card with that Ah, you've planted new seeds that may be starting to grow. Whatever you manifest is starting to come in for you. This is your manifestations coming to fruition. Whatever seeds you planted, this is starting to move in the direction that you were hoping would go for yourself. Maybe it's a business and you've planted these seeds let's see yeah you're looking for that equal give and take and you may be generous with your time money or i feel like your love so this may just be who you are you're a very loving type of person giving person and i feel like you're still even despite whatever you've been through and whatever you've had to release here i feel like you still 
willing to love there's I'm getting like you're not gonna give up um, on love you're still hoping you're still believing in love you're not you're not giving up on love you know what I mean let's look at your rising sign the amber star let go I surrender and allow myself to grieve so this may be somebody that you've lost um, in the last few years maybe you're still grieving over that person or it could be about having to release something here or someone the Huntress quest, the Pleiades light, my quest to be wild and free. So I kind of feel like you are a free soul, definitely are. With the number three, you're very creative. You've had a lot of growth here. You may, um, you might be a team player with the groups I'm feeling here. Um, we have number eight here as well, and I feel like whatever you're letting go of and um you surrendered and allowed yourself to heal is what i'm kind of feeling here with the number eight that is taking um resolution or mastery and taking action towards perhaps that healing end of it to help get over whatever you're grieving about whether it's this release of this person or somebody that's passed on the storyteller intention I am the narrator of my life you do not give away your power I feel like you look within your heart you don't look with um, outside of yourself I feel like you know that your fulfillment your fruition is attainable by looking at your heart looking at love within it's all about love as the highest frequency, right? The oracle forecast. I am the oracle. My intuition insights fro flow freely. So you may have be so connected with spirit and may have so many gifts about whether you see things that are coming. And I feel like these things actually happen. So you may say them and then they happen. And you're just maybe, maybe you read cards and whatever you are talking about ends up happening. It, you have this intuition or insight to what people are about. Like you pick up on ill will intentions. I feel like whatever somebody's trying to pull on you, I feel like you are much more enlightened and... <laughs> I, I'm almost feeling like somebody feels like they're smarter than you and maybe you're gullible, but I feel like you know exactly what's going on here and you're much more clever than this person is giving you credit for. Let's get a card here. Yeah, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they're going to get some type of karma. Um, I feel like this is, whatever cycle it is, it's and there, that change has happened you're fated for some luck that's unexpected that may be coming in for you and you may have already waited a year with all the seasons here and I feel like there's uh, birds here like some type of communication is here yeah you've been really through it and I had this for someone too this cycle is over this 10 is here and you have really had a rough time of this i feel like maybe even this wheel of fortune is kind of <laughs> people's karma that messed with you this 10 of swords i feel like whoever betrayed you whatever karma they're going to get it's going to be seeing how lucky you are going to become they're gonna have to sit and watch as you glow up is kind of what I'm getting here I'm feeling like you may have waited for this for a long time maybe you have known this is coming for you you may have been manifesting putting that action behind it um, doing the work that you needed to do, believing in spirit and trusting in divine timing. And I feel like this is going to be shaking up a lot of people that 
are going to realize what their karma is. You may have been a lesson for someone here. And whether or not they learned the lesson is not on you. You did your part and it's time to move on. Whether they do what they're meant to do or not, or however long it takes them to get to where that lesson and learning it is, that is on them. That is not on you. You did what you were meant to do. You listened to spirit and then you walked away. I feel like you also learned something about your self-worth here. Perhaps you've been going on a long, long time in this Ten of Swords. <laughs> That's right. See? Your luck is changing. You're four of wands. Wow. This is about peace of mind. This is resting. This is about a happy home life. The harmony. The beautiful type of energy that love and respect and just so much romance and love and feeling needed and wanted. I feel like that needed and wanted. There may even be love is in the air. Somebody's coming in for you, I'm feeling here. And because you are a manifester, you are the storyteller of your own life. So you manifest whatever you write down or think about about what you're really wanting and you and you can see yourself there in visioning it all and having such a great time and so happy watching the people around you enjoying the moment. I feel like this is what's really helping you manifest what you're looking for. I want one more card here. <laughs> yeah, you are going to take that leap of faith. Wow, this is so beautiful. Wow, I really like this for you, Cappy. Let's look at your luck while we're at it since that Wheel of Fortune came up. <laughs> I really like that. That was Jupiter. That was your Jupiter. This is your Jupiter now. What's your luck? What's your luck, your Jupiter? Okay, let's pull a couple out here. Blossoming abundance. I can make it up. Wow. You've had a lot of growth here. And it may have been with people. You, They may have felt that you're very... Oh, look at that. You got action here. I feel like you were very creative. They may have been... Um, you've met, you kind of mastered your creativity. You, I feel like you're an alchemist. You can make things out of anything. You may have these great ideas and many of them and it's like, which one do I pick? You know, <laughs> I feel like you get a lot of downloads and I feel like with this uh, storyteller, you can pretty much manifest whatever your heart desires. Whatever action you want to put towards something is what you're going to be able to bring in for yourself. The spirit will bring this for you. This, these, I kind of feel like blessings here. Oh, wow. See, I can't make that up. Door to Romance, 33. Your, your ascended masters are bringing, trying to get you two together here. Bringing this person in, this Door to Romance. Didn't I say that here? That you were going to take that leap of faith because you love is in the air so this is somebody you might be meeting here soon if you haven't already met them yeah you've been waiting for this with the three of wands i feel like you knew somebody new might be coming in maybe you had to release that person for this new beginning to happen and it's here hello it's here <laughs> yeah you may have been kind of going back and forth about this um i kind of feel like this is maybe something you were trying to avoid <laughs> only because of whatever happened in your past and i feel like with this healing part for you whatever you've healed and released whatever's come to light for you i feel like whatever this new beginning is you may have to decide whether it's for you or not let's get one more here oh yeah there's that offer <laughs> i can't make it up with the knight of cups 
this is a heartfelt romance this is somebody that's very charming has a great imagination and is very creative this might be something that you both have in common this could be um an offer or a proposal even they love the idea of love okay and this is an offer coming in for you this door to romance wow this is beautiful let's look at your relationships here palace what's your palace and if my phone goes off one more time i might have to go and look and see what who's trying to get a hold of me here express your love it says wow and i feel like you do i feel like you're very um romantic at heart you may really have that love language of touchy feely wanting to be kissed wanting to be held wanting to have hugs and and be in their energy and i feel like i i really feel like you're um that is your love language now unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going i'm gonna say that this might be because this person maybe heart maybe not heart over mind they might be mind over heart okay so let's have a look you may feel that but um yeah this is a new love right so if this was somebody from your past that's coming back you're gonna have to make a decision and that might be a decision about who you're gonna go with there's a new love here and there's an unrequited love here let's get another card yeah that past life relationship so this you've known each other before in a past life and this may this may draw you to this new love and really um let go of this unrequited love and i'm gonna say this i kind of feel like this new love is going to be undeniable and you're going to realize that anything from the past before that you thought was love wasn't actually um love in this type of way okay this is such a great love this undeniable love here that you're going to realize everything else that you had prior to this was unrequited you were always the one to give okay and i feel like that's not gonna happen here i feel like whoever's here is a lot like you and maybe was the giver before and i feel like you're going to have that balance of equal give and take yeah you're not gonna want to share this person you're gonna retreat somewhere to get to know each other and i feel like you're not gonna tell a lot of people about this person it's time to disconnect from the world yeah i feel like you guys are gonna go off together and do you and not say a whole lot to anybody because you don't want anyone to upset this yeah this is balance this is this is judgment this may be a libra that's coming in for you um this is all about doing the right thing karmic debts are being paid so I feel like you've learned a great lesson here when it comes to relationships and you're able to learn about this. I feel like with this new love, it kind of puts a nail in the coffin for that past love. Whoever this unrequited love was, I feel like it kind of gives you that um, oomph to move into this new love. It's really going to give you that solid confirmation that you're doing the right thing by going with the new person and it might be a decision that you might be having to look at here okay let's get another card for that <laughs> you do get the victory here with the six of wands okay and i feel like this may be somebody that is really sought after um, they may have a lot of recognition and success um, and they may not have any doubts here about you I feel like this is good news for you this is success here and a victory and I feel like it leaves you with no doubt that this person is your person let's look at your Venus here your love how you love here 
see here. What do we got? Ah, kisses. Unconditional loving. Giving and receiving affection. Falling in love. And I do feel like that you are all about the love. When you love, you give all your love. This isn't something you hold back on. And this may be something that maybe you did in the past. You may not have let go and really um, offered up everything when it comes to, to your love. Maybe you held back on certain things. And I feel like you're not going to do that with this person yeah stability security there's growth here too and you're meant to maybe grow together and this may be about what true love is all about here <clears throat> acts yeah break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment and abandonment and i feel like that was that separation here this unrequited love this release that you did i feel like this completely stopped the pattern for this new love to come in yeah, taking time with friends, moving on, and I feel like you might be happily single at this point. I don't feel like this new person has come in yet, and if they have, it's just been recently. And if they haven't, they are coming. I know a lot of the readers are saying, they're coming, they're coming, they are coming. It's going to be, I feel, before summertime here. Yeah, you may have felt kind of left out in the cold when it comes to love. <clears throat> and you may have even feeling lacking when it comes to love and that could be that maybe through your family or your friends you may have been secluded or by yourself and I feel like that might have been just by choice or maybe you just felt left out yeah <clears throat> I feel like you've kind of just been really disciplined in what you're doing for yourself I feel like this is a lot of self love you might be giving yourself here this is about using your mind for something here, having some type of reason and integrity when it comes to loving. And this may be something that you have serious considered that maybe leaving love all out together at some point here and realizing that love is the frequency to the end all be all. Love is the highest frequency. So... <clears throat> That includes forgiveness. So let's see here. You might just be having fun on yourself. Yeah, I feel like you had a lot of jealous people about you. Um, you may have been like, Mom, why, are, why do people not like me? It's your light within. You shine big. You get noticed. People see you, like you, and want to be you. And you may have really felt like the wounded warrior. Like, I'm almost getting the nine of wands here this is kind of like you've defeated you're walking away um and it's an empty victory for you because i feel like you just haven't had that true love kind of feeling come in for you where you realize whatever you had prior to wasn't truly love yeah you've been really patient i gotta tell you that you've been very patient when it comes to this yeah a lot of strength and courage when it comes to learning these lessons and I feel like you never gave up you just you learned what you needed to learn and I feel like you realize what lessons are all about here let's look at your influence here for Capricorn what's influencing Capricorn at this time it could be emotions it could be people outside of yourself it could be within yourself so let's see what's yeah, regeneration. Yes, you have totally transformed. I feel like you you aren't the same person you once were. You've renewed. You've ended that cycle. It, there's a completion here with the number 10 yet again. Yeah, you're going to go the distance. Yeah, number 11. Your ascended masters are here guiding you, I feel like. Urging you not to give up, that your blessings are coming in for you. And it has to do with this new beginning and passionate one that somebody's very passionate about you. Yeah, you're going to have to clean up whatever, maybe your house, getting rid of stuff to make room for someone new. <laughs> All right, let's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, truth be told. Now, I feel like you're going to be at the utmost very 
truthful when it comes to things here. And this may cause a few conflicts with the number five here. Um, but I feel like it's going to bring in some type of change for somebody, whether it's you or them. I feel like you're going to they're going to feel like they can speak their truth with you and be honest. Yeah, this is a blessing. You rather know the truth of what's going on versus somebody trying to hide shit from you. I feel like you don't really like it when people um, hide things from you, um, even if it's for your own so you don't get hurt or whatever bullshit reason they want to come up with. I feel like this person really admires that about you. Is that you're very truthful and you want the truth. Don't sugarcoat it for me. Just tell me what it is so I can fix it if I can. If not, then maybe it wasn't meant to be. And I feel like you're kind of <laughs> pretty cut and dry when it comes to that. Sometimes Capricorns can be like that. Where they're like, okay, um, this isn't going to work for me. If I'm not happy, I'm not going to continue down this road of having this cycle come back around and still be unhappy, still be unhappy, still be unhappy. Something's not changing. Something's not not quite right here. It feels karmic to me. Where karmic is only someone that you have a lesson to learn from. And sometimes we don't learn the lesson right away. We may not understand what the lesson is at that point. So you might end up staying with somebody longer than you meant to or were supposed to. But you admire people that are truthful. <laughs> See that coldness there. <laughs> um, that aloof. Um, but you're very determined and objective. I feel like you're fair. You're strong and independent and very powerful and intelligent. And I feel like you don't really have that cold heart. Um, that would have to be in the reverse. And I'm not really doing reversals. This is all about change here. And I feel like you have changed. You're not the same person as you once were. And with this Ace of Cups here, you are ready for the real thing. Let's look at your Midheaven here. What's the Midheaven for Cappy? Whoa, okay. So you have a lot of options, something that involves um, crystals, and you have a lot of time to decide. It's going to be based on your true heart's desire here. I like that. So it's going to be up to you which way you want to go. But in, in all of it, you're teaching people about life or relationships. I feel like you teach and may not even realize that you are teaching. And it could be that you are a teacher and that you're teaching small children. It could be just teaching online. Um, you could be a healer. But you have time to decide what you want to do here. Crystals. You connect to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. See, I was saying something about healing here. And consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So you have a lot of options on which way you can go. Wow, that's beautiful. So you have like free will here when it comes to deciding. I feel like you can manifest whatever you want. Yeah, you might have a bit of anxiety of which route to go because maybe you have a lot of ideas. Yeah, and you might be still healing here. But I do feel like you may help heal people's anxiety as well. So take a how that resonates for you. Let's go one more card here. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. This is my single card. So you may be single here. Um, you may have suffered from anxiety yourself and are healing that. I feel like you're good where you are now. You might be single and loving it you know what i mean like you're really doing you your self-worth yourself you've been enlightened already you may be in that healing uh from the dark night of the soul you're releasing things you need to release to come to a better place of who you are maybe you lost who you were um through other people in relationships so i feel like you are back to who you are have always been and you're living your truth let's see what does your ancestors want to tell you this is your Amunji Kuli 
this is your roots ancestors and family and it's all about creation you may be quite the dreamer and get a lot of downloads from spirit um and great ideas like epiphanies synergy oh my goodness see whatever it is you have a, um whoever this door to romance is leading you to this might be a green man this might be an earth sign um this is synergy and synergy is when you maybe have a song um maybe you write the song and somebody sings the song and you both make an album or somebody's a producer and somebody's a singer and you both make an album so you take two talents to make something new from both so wow synergy you i feel like that alchemist like you can make garbage into art <laughs> you know what i mean like you can really you have an eye for things of how things connect how you can build it how it can look you can see the end picture of something just by a few things on the table of what you can make it. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah and you like your solitude and maybe you've been in solitude for a while here and this is where this i feel like you're going to step out here yeah because you have the power and the lightning's coming in for you this is like a tower moment this is spirit shaking shit up so you're gonna have something that comes in that's a little shocking here something you're not expecting and though you might be expecting that something's coming i don't feel like you really know what it is and it's much bigger than you realize Let's get a tarot card. Yeah, you may have recently walked away from somebody here and released somebody. And this may have been your tower moment. This may have been the test. Or there might be somebody coming in that you need to walk away from again. There might be two people here. One that's unrequited and a new love. So you might have to decide who to walk away from. But whoever you walk away from whoever the other person is is going to get that karma because they're not really there to love you they they don't love you they're there to delay you or keep you from having this new love but you're going to get that victory here yeah you may have really cried over this like this may be why you're still healing something here this may have brought up something from the past that you haven't been able to get over for a very long time but look at that, two of cups is coming in. You will get your partnership and that love. You will get that new love coming in. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's look at your wealth, your fortune. What's your fortune for Capricorn? I feel like it might be romance here with that door to romance. You might be waiting for that love of a lifetime to come in and I feel like that might be what you've manifested along with a career heavenly signs oh my goodness now you might be able to retire after your success with whatever you're doing here or it might be this person that you end up being with is retiring take it however it resonates maybe I'm talking to somebody in their 40s 50s or 60s here somebody in a little older but young enough to still enjoy their retirement ah forgiveness yeah i do feel like there's some forgiveness here when it comes to whoever you had to release that broke your heart health care change yeah that might be why somebody's retiring they may not be able to work anymore Let's get one more here. Motivation. I do feel like this heavenly signs really motivate you to do what you're meant to be doing. Ha, ah, I love it. And you know what you're meant to be doing, right? Being true to yourself, okay? So if this person is not somebody you really feel you want to be with, be true to yourself. Don't lie to yourself about this person thinking, well, they like me, so I'm going to settle. Don't do that. Only go there if this is something you truly want. Yeah, and you're looking for that truth, that breakthrough, that mental clarity and success in love, I feel, here. 
Yeah, somebody is charging in here with that passionate Knight of Wands. This is charging ahead. This is that inspired action. It might be a little impulsive. It's about adventure. It could also mean passion in the sense of here for a good time, not a long time. So be careful in who you engage with here. Yeah, you're going to have to balance or adapt. You might have to multitask or this is somebody that might try to juggle you. Take it however it resonates for you. Haha. <laughs> See, we do have another offer here. We have a Knight of Pentacles who is slow and steady, reliable and practical. They're very hardworking and they may even have a routine that they have. So I kind of feel like there's this offer and there's this offer. So there may have to be a decision here on which offer to take. And that might be why we have unrequited love and this new love. There's somebody you need to release to have this new beginning. It's going to be something you're going to see because you have been enlightened. So don't worry about what's going to happen because I feel like with the, what this here, you're going to get the balance that you need and that victory. Let's see, this is your um, north node, your current life right now. What's your current life for Capricorn? Very happy. <laughs> Family room. So you might be spending a lot of time with family. Maybe you're out doing stuff because it is empty here. And this is about doing things in groups, being creative, and having some growth here with your kids. If you have kids or your grandkids, take it however it resonates for you. I might be talking to the main female here. Maybe the head of the household or perhaps you're single from baby daddy maybe you were married to them take it however it resonates yeah there's something that's going to happen here you're going to be your family's going to recognize it and the community as well whoever this main female is i feel like this is a glow up here haha <laughs> yes there is a gift for you or you are the gift you're taking action you've mastered something I really like this for you, Cappy. Haha, <laughs> there's an official person coming in for you. And I feel like this might be somebody of the military, um, could be police, it could be law enforcement, it could be anyone that's an official person, a lawyer, a judge. This is somebody that I feel is by the book. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Haha, uh -huh. see, there is an ending here. And I feel like it's between two people here. So this might be really amazing that people, yeah, you're very loving. I knew you would come out as the Queen of Cups here. You're emotionally connected. You're intuitive, compassionate, tender-hearted, And I feel like you're going to let this person down easy, whoever you choose. Yeah, you're looking for that cooperation. You don't want somebody that's trying to compete with you. You want somebody that's going to compete um, for you. Like, you're both going to compete, but not against each other. You're both a team player. I feel like this is that cooperation, this three of pentacles. So, you know, that wisdom about collaborating, this is learning new ideas and having that cooperation and shared goals. So one is going to be like that, the other not so much. And I feel like you're going to be able to discern who is who here. Let's go one more card here. <laughs> Look at that. One is the blessing. Okay, this is um, abundance and opportunity here manifestation maybe the path is cleared for your manifestations to come in here wow that's beautiful yeah and you've been very patient here as the temperance and there's um the death card and then the new beginning and then that's exactly what we see here releasing seeing the light for the new beginning and to release brings in the new right something ends for the new to come in so 
let's look at what spirit has for you here. What is the advice for Capricorn here? You're going to have to decide between two, though. So, and I feel like this is going to be like a no-brainer for you. Prosperity. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay, Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Capricorn, you've overcome overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jamel, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So you've passed that test. This may have already happened where you've had to choose between people. And I feel like whoever this new person coming in maybe hasn't showed up yet. I'm kind of still getting that. I feel like you may have walked away from somebody here. Or this person that's this new person that comes in may come in and someone else is going to come right back in that you may have already walked away from. <clears throat> and they're coming back just to make it hard for you. And they may even try to influence this other person not to be with you. They might try to cause trouble here. Let's see. Yeah, you may be an indigo or a crystal child. Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children in particular. You help children who are sensitive. So you actually might be... Um, somebody that decides about this teaching and there was children here so you might teach these children about connecting with crystals you might teach them um and you have time to decide what you're going to teach them perhaps you are a spiritual leader of some sort or a healer and you might be teaching children about using their intuition about listening to that inner voice okay maybe that I feel like you maybe, maybe when you were a child, you had these gifts and nobody was there to, to kind of tell you about it and help you through them. And this might be something you do for children who have gifts. I feel like you, if they have these intuition and gifts and are able to project or not project, but, um, be an oracle where they are telling what's going to happen in the future I feel like and things happen just the way they say I feel like you're going to help them with this what do we have here yeah let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here clear audience yeah <laughs> you hear your ancestral ancestors angels and spirit guides if you're an indigo child, this is like from 1970s or 60s even <clears throat> to the 1980s. And then the 1980s to uh, the 2000s are crystal children. So you're within that range of um, whether you're an indigo or a crystal child. But you have that clairaudience. You notice loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. And they may even be passed over loved ones now I did say somebody might be trying to come in to upset this new love here and we do have the seven of swords here and I feel like spirits trying to tell you you've overcome all these difficulties already but they may be trying to tell you something you may end up getting a message about some type of deception that might be coming back around here yeah, this is coming to light to you. I feel like whatever this is, Spirit's going to tell you through clear audience. So it might be a passed over loved one that you recognize that you know has passed over that's giving you this message. And it's going to shock you a little to hear this voice inside your head. But this is to get you to pay attention to what's going on around you, okay? Yeah, you're studying about clairaudience, possibly, about what it means to be clairaudient. I feel like you, whatever gifts you have, you're going to study about them. And this is going to help pick up on that deception if you aren't already. And this may have already happened where you had a voice of a loved one that's passed over. Um, 
alert you to this person in the past that maybe you've already released about their deception. And this may be a message to you that you need to study about your gift, your clear audience. You may even have more than one gift here. <clears throat> What's on the bottom of the deck? Yes, temperance. You have been so patient. And this is Sagittarius um, energy. This is about adventure. And I feel like they're very social and maybe even even blunt okay um but you may have a lot of maybe this is your moon sign okay but you you're quite upfront and honest about your opinions and so maybe you don't sugarcoat things so but i feel like you still um harmony and peace and you're very grounded and you're in your life purpose right now and I feel like it's like an adventure to you and you're studying it and finding out new things about it about your gifts I love this for you Capricorn you will have to make a choice maybe you've already made the choice it depends where you are in this timeline right now something's ended and you're still very loving it hasn't Put you off from accepting love or romance into your life you're looking for a certain type of love and i feel like that blessing is definitely coming in for you it may come in the form of an official person it, if i'm talking to a masculine it may be a main female that comes in someone in your community maybe they give you a gift or you give them a gift they may be an official person they may be in the police or military or however that resonates for you and it might be vice versa you might be the female you might be talking with your family there's an official person that's in your community that wants to give you a gift or they see you as the gift so take it however that resonates for you because it is energy right so capricorn this is what i have for you embrace your gifts study it and I still feel like you have that intuition of picking up on deceptive people. And this might be something you need to study. This might be something you're teaching children as a job. Um, I feel like whoever comes in as this new love is going to help you with stuff here. This might be something this person loves about you or wants to do with you so take it however it resonates for you anyways um i'm gonna leave it there so please like share and subscribe become part of the divine oracle tribe if you'd like to donate there is a description box below that you can click on and there's a paypal account you can put a donation to if you'd like by watching the content that is actually helping the channel liking subscribing and um sharing that all helps the channel so i appreciate each and every one of you and you can also donate through the super thanks um by the way i have been receiving those thank you thank you thank you and i've put in an order for some new cards from the donations that i've received recently i appreciate all of you no matter how you are helping support the channel i I'm so thankful to each and every one of you. Stay blessed. Love you all. Take care. All right. Later.